My name is T.J. Hemphill, and I'm the writer director of Lord All Men Can't Be Dogs. True story. I'm Indy Brown. I'm the CEO of Tridestin Studios and also the producer of Lord All Men Can't Be Dogs. And I'm just excited to be here. We're wrapped, and it was just a blessing from start to finish. I've been blessed to work on a lot of uh, productions since I started. Um, from actually, Lord All Men Can't Be Dogs was the first national one I toured on for about a year, year and a half back in 2002, 2003, and then I've been been rolling ever since. Um, been blessed to work with a lot of talented people and, and a lot of a lot of great productions, a lot of plays and stuff. I found out about uh, Lord All Men Can't Be Dogs through uh, the leading man, Christian Keys. Um, Christian and I have. This is our second time working together. And so it was an offer, which I always consider such a compliment when a person doesn't want to make me jump through hoops that they respect what Vivica Fox will bring. And he said that there was no other choice that uh, when he read the script and knew that this was going to happen, he was like, my only request is that I have Vivica Fox as my wife. And I was like, thank you, Christian. You know, I always, when I'm working and picking a project, and what makes this project, you know, one that I would want to be a part of, is the script. Yo, Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for another incredible day, uh, bringing us all together uh, to, to do something amazing. To bless everybody that's a part of this, and bless everybody who's going to see it. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 There's been a lot of success with a lot of plays that have toured the country. Um, and a lot of success with filming them as well. And a lot of people sometimes don't get a chance to see the plays live. And what made this one so beautiful is that we were able to say the name of Jesus and that we were actually dealing with faith and encouraging family. And, and a lot of times people say they're making a faith-based film, but because you know it's other networks or studios involved and people that really might not understand the culture and the dynamics of truly having faith and believing in God, this was something authentic from beginning to end, and that's what made it so unique to me. I need to know something, and I need to know right now. Never mind. I heard you loud and clear. Please forgive me. I've soiled myself. This is definitely one of my favorite stories. Um, all the elements, the angels, the spirits that you can't see, you know, the fussing and fighting with the husbands, um, you know, the sun, just everything. So many different elements and so many different layers. Um, and there's no, no filler in here. The crazy waitress, everything. So it's just, it's, there's a lot to love. So this, this is definitely one of my favorite theater productions ever. Uh, I play Christian's wife and uh, she is a real estate agent who is a wonderful wife whose husband has taken her through many, many, many challenges. Uh, she just wants him to find the Lord and to bring the Lord back into their marriage and to their household. So um, I'm really enjoying playing Lisa. It's very challenging because she's strong and uh, she's a wonderful mother and she wants her marriage to work, but she's definitely being tested. My dad was a minister and when he told me about this uh, project, it was so funny because the first thing that I thought about when he says, well, you have two options. You could, you know, you could play a preacher or you could do another character. And uh, immediately, <laughs> you know, I said, preacher, the reverend, because my dad was a minister. So, you know, it's like, it wasn't too far of a stretch for me. So I enjoy playing, playing the, 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 the uh, minister because Obviously, a minister has a role, which is to deliver a message. And no matter whether I'm singing uh, or whether I'm even playing a role, it's like I know that that's a part of my calling, is just to be able to deliver a message. So Every character has so many things going on. And I really wanted to play Diane because, you know, she's just a mess. But at the end, she finds God and hears his voice and becomes the person she used to be. Well, what stands out to me the most in this production, differently from the others, is I'm playing a bad guy. Finally! I'm playing this guy that is crazy. I love Charlie. I love the whole aspect of 
two worlds colliding in one house. I played Leroy, the uh, second angel. Kareem's amazing, man. This is my first time meeting him, but I told him tonight, I was like, dude, we are brothers for life. I mean, me and Charlie kind of feed off of each other. Sometimes Charlie gets in a little bit of trouble, and I'm there to kind of, you know, pull him out and get him focused on the task at hand, and that's helping the family. Erotica is one of the spirits that's in the home, the Johnson home, and she is a devil. Um, she's there causing a lot of mayhem in the house and she's playing a part of all of the deceptive things that are happening. She has a, her hand in it, so not too nice. I played a character of Strife who was basically the devil. My whole idea is to totally uh, take away your ability to believe in the spiritual connection that you would have with God. Amy is um, kind of the center of the family. She's the sister of Vivica Fox's character, Lisa. Um, and she helps out with her nephew, Johnny, and just kind of keeps the house in order. She's a praying woman. She's definitely very spiritual, very much into the church. I play the vivacious role of Eugene, and you are currently watching the DVD production of Lord, All Men Can't Be Dogs. Sally. Sally is a nut. She is uh, looking for a man. She's looking for that fine, tall, dark, handsome man to come sweep her off her feet. And I can relate, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so she's just, you know, out there. She needs a man. She wants, because it's perilous times right now. Just, I was trained from Twinkie Bird and, and you know, all these casting directors. And I did fun, but I, I'm just really a producer at heart. So I think for a producer and a casting director at the same time. Good. That's a good combination. That means you'll make the right choices. Well, my role is uh, stage manager, getting people on and off the stage in a timely fashion. I've been having a ball. This is my first time working with TJ. Uh, and we're just having a good time. We have a wonderful cast. It's just uh, so fast but so short because we have to depart, but we're enjoying ourselves and having a good time. I'm Veronica Nichols. I'm co-producing. And I'm also the Vice President of Production and Development for Tribeston Studios. Um, have a great deal of experience in film and television. This is our first foray into theater. I'm very excited. He played music for the entire play. She gonna preach. In that, oh, I feel oh, something there. I feel, I feel that boom, thing. Boom, boom, boom. And, and he plays the music. And he does such an amazing job because all of these little fun moments that we have in the office scene, we need you for that. Right. gratifying experience, you know, and I certainly look forward to so many more. But this cast uh, was very friendly to work with. It's like family, you know, this was just a real good situation, you know. A lot of people are saying yeah. it's like family. Yeah, yeah. And, and a lot of people said some great things about you, too. Oh, I, I hope so. I hope so. I appreciate yeah. that, you know, but... Uh, I paid them afterwards. Oh, that's but they, good. They good. Say some I owe you some money, is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, you do. <laughs> T.J. Hampill from Detroit. Yeah, got to represent. Um, he's a humble spirit, so talented knew what he wanted, a visionary, very, very happy to work with him and satisfied. You know how sometimes when you're in, it's like, it's, if we could just did this, we could just did that. But honey, we did it all. I began with Lord All Men Can't Be Dogs in 2003. I've been working with TJ a few years prior to that uh, in his play, Perilous Times. And I played an angel there. And I was like, I want to work with him because I got to wear white leather, cream leather in Detroit, because you know they wear stuff like that. But I had a great time, and I thought that his perspective uh, was so fresh and very unique and very broad. We had lots of rehearsals because there was a lot of dialogue to absorb. But because I think that everyone had mutual respect for one another and for TJ, more importantly, is why this has all come together so magically. And I think everyone's going to be really happy because this is refreshing to see um, drama, comedy, and gospel mixed together. If I were to put a sentence together saying what the message is, I guess I couldn't really say just one. I would say that there were a few primary ones that stick out, you know, the importance of family, the importance of prayer, um, definitely forgiveness, you know, people making mistakes and being man enough to 
fess up and turn and face them, deal with them, and then put that behind. You know, other than the lessons that you learn, you can't carry around that kind of baggage. So I would say there's several lessons to be learned. And doing productions like these, you know, they speak to us as well. You know, during, you know, it ministers to us as to what's going on in our life. And it's so good to be in a production where the drama stays on stage. And so far we have acted like a family and we, we have come together in such a short time because we only had three to four days to do the rehearsals to get this thing together. And when I tell you it's coming together, it is amazing. So kudos to you, TJ Hemphill. Kudos to you, Indy Brown, Trey, Veronica, everyone that is a part of the production crew, everyone behind the cameras. And know this about any production. It's not just about the actors. It is about every single person that is involved 